Kanye West and his yay. Jesus, yay, and his Jesus trademark craze. Okay, that's what we're gonna it's call funny. it. So he hired or he had his trademark attorney file 17 trademark applications in one day. Okay, and I'm gonna show you guys so you can have a real sneak peek of what it looks like when you are looking at these trademark applications, which are yeah, through cool. the US PTO. So I'm going to pull that up here in just a sec. But let's talk a little bit about what these trademarks were for, right? What were they for? Oh, so Jesus. they, yeah, for, for, for Yeezus, which is, you know, was a record of his, was, a, was an album, um, a very good one as well. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, he's doing uh, Christmas tree ornaments, face masks, uh, retail stores, computer goods, plush toys, subscription services. So I guess maybe that's going to, I mean, he's already has his um, STEM player, you know, his own website where it essentially works as like iTunes, you know, the way iTunes work, where you upload your STEM player and stuff. Right, um, right. So, I mean, so subscription services, I wonder if it's what that could mean. Nail polishes, facial makeup, video game software, amusement park rides, and much more. But there was, uh, but he's also getting into what the the the, the metaverse experiences and uh, the potential of providing an online marketplace for buyers of blockchain blockchain based non fungible items. Is so NFTs, but let me let me break this down for you guys. All right. So when we're talking about trademark applications, the reason you end up having to file multiple trademark applications is because you can file a trademark to trademark a name, for example, Miss Crystal, right? So if I'm filing to protect Miss Crystal, I have to tell the trademark office what I want it in connection to. Is it a service? Is it a good? Is it a thing? that I'm selling. I don't just get to file and say, I want to have exclusive rights to Miss Crystal and no one else can ever use right. it. That's not how it works. You have to file specifically in conjunction with, for example, you know, in Kanye's case, action figures, Christmas tree ornaments, face masks, and these are each separate categories. And that's how I explain it to my clients. We are filing for, if it's Miss Crystal, I make music. So Miss Crystal in association with audiovisual goods which would be music and music videos i might also file miss crystal in conjunction with live performances and those are services so let me show you and you might want to take off the overlays while yep. i do this all right but I, I, have a, I have a so 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 to be clear though this is just for for the name yeezus so you know i'm sure that he has a slew of trademarks already for his um right. for kanye west for yay and we'll look at that. And so that's a very good point. So these are all trademark applications for Yeezus. Now they filed 17 all at once, um, May 27th, or I should say on the same day, but there are a total of 26 that he's filed. So let me show you a little bit of what this looks like. So you have a Yeezus trademark application in class 41. This is for music production, audio recording services, audio tape production, music videos. You have another one. This is for an online store. Obviously these are extensive Wow, descriptions okay. um you also have in class 28 plush toys dolls doll accessories so you know as we're looking at these these are all what's called intent to use so that means he's not currently using this in association with for example his amusement park right as far as i know we're not there yet but you know but he could he could have a a kanye ride i mean there's definitely you know um i think it's like aerosmith had a ride uh has like a a, a roller coaster for for aerosmith so i mean like artists do do this so i mean it's it's cool it's pretty exciting um to see to see what what kind of things he's going to come up with um and i think it's interesting that you know he's getting into the nfts and, and describing more of the metaverse um i know he was kind of reluctant to kind of to get on board with it, but kind of like what we mentioned when we were talking about Pharrell um, launching his Gata platform, uh, NFT platform that, um, you know, people are kind of catching on. And if like, you know, it's kind of if you get it, you get it and you can either slowly come and join the party because it's kind of proving the marketplace for itself. Now, whether it's going to be around for the next, you know, 10, 15 years, that remains to be seen. But right now, people are making a lot of money uh, in the metaverse and with NFTs. 
Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, there was a question, nail polish? Yes. When you want to trademark your yeah. business name, your performance name, whatever it is, and you're selling a good of nail polish, that is a separate class. And so each trademark application has to be filed, you know, separately. And guys, it is an expensive, long process. I mean, right now I have like a dozen different trademark applications pending that were filed you know, I would say over six months ago, um, you know, and so so as it relates to kind of your commitment, do it because this is where your chunk of change is. If you are a musician, if you are a record label, having the trademark to your brand is possibly the most valuable thing that you can have other than the music. But of course, setting that aside, if you are just trying to scale a business like selling nail polish, the trademark is still one of the most valuable things that you can have. It's I, it's genius. I mean, uh, did we mention makeup and stuff? Like he he literally should yeah. get everything. And 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 the thing of it is, he has the money to do it. And that's probably why we're seeing a big bulk. Like, you know, most people maybe have the budget to file a couple, maybe two, maybe three at one time. But he's so wealthy that he's just like, oh, just give me everything. Just give me just give me everything on the right side of the page, kind of thing. Um, you know, he's not he's not blinking about a couple trademark applications. <laughs> so. So as a question, so how, for someone like me, like how, how much is something like that per filing? How much could that run me if I wanted to say like, um, do that Orco hats or something? Yeah. And in fact, you do own that Orco trademark. That's true. So, so for example, um, when you are filing through the USPTO to get your federal trademark, so that means you would have protection in all the United States, trademark filing fees right now are 250 or 350, depending on what definition you use. And, um, and then you have to, you know, pay obviously the attorney, each attorney is different. Some attorneys have flat fees of like 900 bucks. Others will be 1200, 1300. It just depends on who you're hiring. And that's usually just for step one. After that, there are additional steps and things that you have to jump through. So, you know, do a little bit of research. I definitely would sure. not recommend anyone file on their own. I have so many people who contact my office because they do it themselves. They're trying to save some money. I totally get that, but they do it wrong. And now they got to pay me to do and fix everything. And now they're paying even more. So it's better just to get the attorney up front. Now, Joel had a question because you mentioned NFTs. Let me give you a little rundown. So when it comes to NFTs, they're non-fudgeable tokens and you can think of them as electronic commodities right so to the degree that we play video games and in the video game you can buy things like weapons clothing you are right. buying digital assets that aren't real right but they give you some kind of intrinsic value um and so now that has expanded to the meta you know universe <laughs> and we're able to purchase things like digital art music um, and even things like we had Snoop, you know, selling not only his album, but it was a package. And so you got some VIP experiences. And so it's acting kind of like another payment system for services, for goods. But the thing is that NFTs, you have to purchase them on these specific platforms. And that's the thing that people are a little intimidated. They don't want to get on this platform and go and, you know, buy an NFT. And they're very questioning or they're very much questioning the validity still but this nft as a commodity as something that we can actually use to promote our brands our companies our careers it is scaling and so you see you know the kanye wests of the world finally jumping in when they had resisted previously we just talked about you know um pharrell from. He just launched his own NFT platform. So that's, uh, I'll, I'll stop my rant on that. It's but I pretty good. No, it's, <laughs> it's great because, you know, it's funny with all these artists I mentioned on the Pharrell um, NFT discussion that we had uh, that I kind of started to get NFTs. Like I, before I was kind of in the same thing. I'm kind of old school. I want to hold something in my hand. I want to hold the artwork. I want to whatever but like i kind of got it when they started having billionaire boys club nfts and i was like i was kind of interested because i wanted to pick one up um but i get it also if you're spending a lot of time in video games if you're spending a lot of time online and you have your own custom characters and you want them to have you know you're building your houses and your games or or, or whatever and you want to pay for your characters like so you can flex online because you're really into the to the online gaming see like that's something i kind of didn't get into ever like but i mean if you're if you're one of these cats that's playing online games all the time you got the headset and you're talking in the headset then then you're probably interested in nfts and you might have bought one already 
<laughs> but uh, I think that it's cool. I think it's interesting. And I saw somebody else had a comment on here that I wanted to point out. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, Winston had a, a comment that said uh, Gene Simmons uh, could give lectures in, in trademarking Gene Simmons of Kiss. And Kiss is a fantastic example of an, a band. And uh, Gene Simmons is, is a perfect example of a guy that trademarks and everything just has kiss coffins and kiss makeup and kiss uh, uh roller skates and he tries to merchandise everything that he possibly can so As yeah you absolutely when you have a brand that hits and look i mean spike from facebook a lot of celebs and artists go into alcohol brands band bandwagon absolutely and you see celebrities launching their makeup line you know i think that there are just things that that logically cannabis see. oh everybody, yeah everybody Art, every artist right now is coming out with their own strains and 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 their own products like that. So I mean, it's let's go. You know what I mean? Like it's great. Like because it, it's great that artists are looking, thinking outside of the box, and they're finding funnels of ways that they can earn money because streaming is not paying the same. People aren't going and buying stuff the way that they used to, and you know it's a little bit more difficult and. This also is just fantastic for any independent artist right now. Should be trying to take advantage of all of these things and learning these things on the come up so you can earn more.